hey what's up guys and welcome back to anime king and today i'm going to be giving you part 8 of what if naruto was neglected by everyone remember to get this one to 100 likes as usual share this to all of your friends on your social media platform and also stay in tune because after this i'm going to be posting a new episode of what if naruto was neglected by everyone so stay in tune for that and i hope you guys enjoy and later on, I'm going to be posting a new episode of What If Naruto is a Vampire over on Anime King 2. And after that, I'm going to be posting a new episode of What If Aizuna Uchiha was Naruto's ancestor. So stay in tune for those and I hope you guys enjoy each and every episode today. And remember, if you're new, to go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the Anime King family. And thank you for all of your help and your support. And yeah... Without further ado, let's begin this new episode. Start the intro. So the last time we left off, Naruto and his group took to the preliminaries. They quickly got the scroll that they needed, as Naruto then sensed something. He then told them that he got to take a leak as he went off. He created a wood clone, as he sent the clone with them, as the clone tell them let's go. As Naruto headed off, Naruto was flashing through the forest when a snake fly past him, as lightning rained down from the sky, striking the snake. As it then poofed away, as Menma landed right beside Naruto, as Naruto asked him what is going on, as Menma explained that out of nowhere this giant snake is attacking, and he don't think that it is belonging to this forest, seeing that it just poofed away instead of dying. As the both of them rushed back to Team 7, when they got there, they saw Sakura holding a kuna in front of her, shaking, as Sasuke just collapsed on the ground after getting a mark from Orochimaru, as Naruto landed in front of Sakura and Menma landed between Sasuke and Urchimaru. Naruto told Sakura to get Sasuke and go. But she started complaining and said no, she can't leave them behind. He will kill them. But Naruto punched her in the stomach knocking her out as he created two clones as the clones took them and go. As Naruto and Menma then took on Urchimaru. Urchimaru was beyond shock as he never expected this from Jennings. Even though he was holding back his power, seeing that he didn't want to be sensed. And he was even more surprised when he saw Naruto's eyes. As Naruto used the Amaterasu, as Urchimaru was just beyond. He didn't understand how was this possible. He knew of Naruto, he was the one who possessed the 9 tail fox and save him. Well, most of the power at least. But how? How did he have the Sharingan? He didn't have any Sharingan in his bloodline. So how is that possible? No member of his bloodline. None of them possess the Sharingan, so how does he? In the end, Archimaru retreated after thinking that the Anbus and the squad is coming close. Menma then came back to the site to see Sasuke with Sakura hugging him from behind, telling him to calm down as Zaku was on the ground, unconscious, as those who picked him up and headed off. As Menma cut them off and asked them who told them to attack Sasuke. After threatening to kill them, they said that he was Archimaru. As they then headed off as Minma let them pass. We then had a time skip to the preliminaries. As we skipped to the preliminaries, the first match was Sasuke Uchiha as he took on Kabuto's teammate. Even with the curse mark trying to spread over his body, he forced it back down and he won the match. The second match was Hinata vs Neji as Naruto watched a poor display as he saw Kurenai trembling. She then came back from the medic as Kushina asked Kurenai how is Hinata? As Kurenai said that she is in critical state. Naruto then spoke as he told them that she is weak. And if she keep on babying her like that she will die soon. As Kurenai was beyond piss as she grabbed him by the shirt. She raised her hand to punch him. But Kushina grabbed her and told her to calm down. As Kiba and Shino appear behind Naruto. Kiba placed his hand on Naruto's shoulder. As he raised his hand. Don't you ever talk about Hinata like that he said. 
as he tried to punch Naruto. But Naruto grabbed his wrist. As Naruto smirked as he saw the board stop going through names. And it was Kiba versus Naruto. So yeah guys that was basically last what we left off. Go ahead and switch across the place and check it out for yourself if you're new and yeah let's start this new episode. We now have in the ring Naruto and Kiba looking at each other as Genma was there waiting to start the match. Meanwhile in the stands Kurnai she was grasping the rails as she wanted Kiba to beat this boy. She never felt this kind of anger before the way he talked about Hinata about her dying out there and he just had that smug look on his face. As she wanted Kiba to beat him severely, she felt a boiling rage inside of her. She didn't like when anyone talked badly of Hinata. As Narumi and Mito were just watching. As the both of them then turned around and looked at Kushina who was behind them. Mom. As Kushina looked down, yes, she said. Well, Naruto attitude, Mito said. I didn't know why he said that, said Narumi. Yeah, she is right, said Mito. And I thought you were warming up to us, but if we take someone else's side rather than his, he will hate us again, she said. I know, said Kushina. But she just couldn't allow Naruto to do these things, as he was talking so poorly of a leaf ninja. She was a member of the village, the village that he's a part of. He shouldn't be saying those things. She understand why Kurunai was angry, but she wouldn't allow Kurunai to hit her son. As the proctor asked both of them if they're ready. As Kiba nodded, as he had a determined look in his eyes, while Naruto stood there with a blank look on his face, as Menma was just smirking, knowing that Naruto is going to destroy Kiba. Well, begin, the proctor says he jumped away. Naruto then started to back away a bit as Kiba smirked, running already, he said, as he looked down at Akamaru, as he gave Akamaru a nod, let's take him out fast and quick, and make sure to make it hurt, Kiba said. Get Suga! As both him and Akamar start to spin, as both of them rush towards Naruto, Naruto simply moved out of the way as Kiba crashed into the ground but he didn't stop there. He spin and came out back the other side as he tried to crush down on Naruto but Naruto was evading all of his strikes like he was nothing as Naruto was weaving out of the way. As everyone was surprised he was moving so skilled. Most of them thought that he was some sort of weakling. But it seems like he has something up his sleeve. Interesting, said Shikamaru. He noticed something about Naruto. He has seen Naruto in the days. Those bad days when he used to get picked on by the village. But then something changed one day and now he's like this. After a while, Kiba and Akamaru stopped as the both of them were panting. Damn it, stay still, Kiba said. As none of his attacks were hitting Naruto. As Kiba then flicked a pill to Akamaru. As Akumar caught it and turned red. Akumar then jumped on his back. Man beast clone transformation he said. As Akumar turned into a perfect copy of Kiba. As Chakra started to dance around the boat of them. Get Suga Kiba cried out. As the boat of them rushed forward. Tearing through the ground. As Naruto stood there with a smirk on his face. As they impacted. And there was a loud boom. Minato was there watching the whole thing. As he was standing up on the balcony, far away from the other contesters or the other Jonins. As he was just looking down at the fight, wondering how this would turn out. When he was teaching Naruto the Rasengan, Naruto picked it up rather quickly. It was like he had perfect knowledge over his chakra and how to balance his body and all that. So he was sure that Naruto would be able to win this fight. But how far would he take it? As Minato has seen that Naruto seemed to not hold back against anyone, he don't know how far he will go. As Minato heard what Naruto said about Hinata, even though she's a leaf ninja, he shouldn't have said that about his leaf comrades. Back to the fight, everyone watched with wide eyes. Neji had his Byakugan activated. As he had a surprised look on his face. Hey Neji, what's wrong? asked Tenten. As Neji didn't say anything. When the smoke cleared, Kiba was on the ground as he was panting. As Naruto was standing right in front of him, a huge crater at his feet. As Naruto was totally unaffected. As Akamaru was growling at Naruto. Pathetic, Naruto said, speaking for the first time. You're really pathetic. I thought you'd at least 
made me able to stretch my muscles or something. But no. Huh. I guess you're a bigger disappointment than that worthless thing that Anerta said. Hearing that Kronai grasp the railing as she squeezed it tight. As Nerta turned around and turned his back. As Akamaru had enough as he jumped forward intending on biting Naruto. Akamaru Kiba said. But Nerta spin around at the last second and deliver a powerful punch right into Akamaru's face. The dog was sent flying through the ear as he was crying all the way. He smashed into the wall and then smashed into the floor as he was out cold. As Kiba, I snapped. Pure rage built up inside of him. As he rushed towards Naruto blindly, he tried to claw Naruto right in the face. But Naruto grabbed his wrist and bent it. As Kiba dropped on his knees, wincing in pain, he brought up his other hand with his claws extending, trying to tear right through Naruto's stomach. But Naruto stepped right in the joint of his hand. As Kiba cried out in pain, Naruto added more pressure, breaking his hand. As Naruto looked at Kiba on the ground, Give up, Naruto said, as he turned and walked away. I won't! I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to Akamaru. I can see now. Why no one liked you back then? You're just a monster. And I see why everyone hates you. You should have suffered more. And for what you did to Akamaru, I'm gonna make sure you pay. Hearing that, Kushina and Mito and Narumi lowered their head. But Menma know what is coming. As Naruto didn't like to hear about the past, from people who he was fighting. Just to say, Menma accidentally brought up the past about the villagers one time and Naruto went so enraged that Menma had to run because when he get angry, as everyone then felt something, a dense pressure, the arena was suddenly so dense as he could feel chakra radiating off of Naruto. He snapped his head around to Kiba. His eyes show pure hatred and anger. As Naruto walked forward without saying a word, Kiba got up as he was holding his arm. Kurenai narrowed her eyes as the amount of chakra she was feeling off of Naruto was terrible. Kiba, give up, she said. Huh? said Kiba. But Kiba was too late as he cried out in pain the next second as everyone gasped when they saw what happened. Naruto dragged his hand down into Kiba's shoulder piercing his hand through Kiba's shoulder as blood was running down. Naruto pulled back his hand and it was covered in chakra. He grabbed Kiba by the face as he moved in such a speed that none of the kids could see as he slammed Kiba's head into the wall. Blood instantly started to run from Kiba's head. Naruto grabbed him by the shirt and threw him up in the air. As Naruto was behind him within seconds, as Naruto grabbed his already broken arm, Kiba was barely conscious at this moment as Naruto ringed his arm in mid-ear as Kiba cried out in pain as Naruto stepped into Kiba's back and came down as there was a BOOM. Everyone saw a lot of dust. They then heard something smashing. When the dust cleared Naruto was holding onto the back of Kiba's head, slamming it into the ground over and over and over and over. Kurenai quickly jumped down before she could see anything else. As she grabbed onto Naruto's wrist, as she was so enraged, she punched him in the face, pushing him back. Naruto looked at her with a sick look on his face. The next second, Kurenai was in the wall as Naruto was clutching her throat. As the people couldn't believe what they were seeing, everyone was just so stunned. How did he grab her so fast? As Naruto raised his fist as he was about to swing it right in her face, but his hand was grabbed by Kakashi, who had came back to witness the rest of the preliminaries. As Naruto turned his face, Hatake, he said, if you don't wish to die, let me go. But Kakashi gripped on Naruto's hand more tight. I suggest that you let her go, Kakashi said. As Naruto released Kurenai's neck, as she gasped, as she wasn't breathing, when he was squeezing her neck so tight, as Naruto held out his left hand, a Rasengan quickly formed his hand, surprising the others as Kushina jumped down to the arena. But before she could do anything, Naruto was grabbed by Minato who suddenly appeared in a flash. As Naruto already saw three prom Kuna at his feet, as Minato grabbed his wrist, Naruto, stop this now, said Minato. 
as Naruto looked at Kakashi who was still holding on to his wrist. Well then, tell him to let me go, Naruto said. Kakashi said Minato. As Kakashi released Naruto and Naruto dissipate the Rasengan, as Naruto turned and looked back at Kurenai, the next time you involve yourself with anything, I'll kill you. As he then walked off, as Kushina or Minato didn't know what to say to him, this was a match as people could kill in this match, you could die or you could give up. And seeing that Kiba didn't give up, but Naruto took it too far as Kurenai hold on to her neck as there was a lot of bruising there from him just slamming her in the wall with so much force as she wondered how was he so strong. As Naruto jumped back up to the balcony, as he walked up to Mito and Narumi without saying a word, the both of them narrowed their eyes at each other as they then spoke. Um, Naruto, you okay? They asked. Like you here, he said. Of course we do, said Mito. Yeah, we're here for you. I told you I wouldn't let anyone harm you, said Narumi. I am fine, he said, as the medics had to come quick and take away Kiba as he was in a critical state from Naruto slamming his head into the ground so much time and Akamaru was brought to Hana, Kiba's sister, the vet. As Minato then went back up to his position, as he told Kushina that he would talk to Naruto, Kurenai come as she wished she no good luck. She then walked away and didn't say anything else. As Kushina came up the stairs, she looked at Naruto once, but she didn't say anything as she stood behind her group. Alright everyone, let's continue the preliminaries, said Genma after seeing everything was over. As the board went through name again, this time it landed on Menma. As Menma was watching the entire show with a smile on his face, as Kiba got what he deserved. He's just lucky that they stopped Naruto or he would be dead. Meanwhile, the cloud team was watching the names, as the first name was Menma. As Karu then smiled that it was her next. Show them hell, said Yujito. Of course I will show these Konoha ninjas hell, she said. Don't lose, said Amoy. Do you really think that little of me? Do you really think any of these brats from Konoha can defeat me? Well, that kid a while ago, he was surely impressive. Well, impressive for his own. He's not on my level. That kid he beat was from Konoha. So yeah, he's not really that strong. Huh, just don't lose, said Yujito. You really have that little faith in me? said Taru. No, I have 100% faith in you. But sometime you kind of underestimate your opponent and that will get you into trouble. Well, don't worry because I will win. As she then walked down to the arena, as Naruto gave Menma a nod, as Menma gave him back a nod, the both of them arrived in the arena. As the proctor told them to begin after asking them if they're ready, which the both of them not to. Neither of them move at first. So, first time? asked Menma. Karu narrowed her eyes at him. What? she said. I asked you if this was your first time. Taking the shooting exams, you mean? she asked. Yes, said Karu. Well then, if I beat you so badly, you wouldn't want to take the next time because you would be so scared, right? he said. As his attitude and his tone changed really quickly. As she smirked, do you really think you can do that? You Konoha ninjas really think a lot of yourself. But let me show you the power of Kumo, she said. As she quickly jumped back and pulled her sword, she then dashed forward towards him. A board slice, she cried out. As a faint slice of chakra came from her blade, that tear right through the ground coming up. As Menma jumped back in time to block it, hmm, so you're a good with sword, he said. Alright, now my turn. He dashed forward as he pulled back his fist. She smirked. Do you really think your fist can go up against my sword? As she brought down her sword but she was surprised when his hand was engulfed by fire as he slammed it right into her sword. She had to move back away from the heat or she would get burned. As she flipped away. Oh, so the information was right she thought to herself. You're from that Remy clan, she said. That can control all elements. Hmm. Well then, this would be an interesting fight, she thought. Hey, you ready? Minma asked. I was born ready, she said. As she dashed forward, as she threw her sword in the air, as Minma was looking up at the sword, 
idiot she said to herself as she went through hindsight fire style fire stream as she fired off a stream of fire coming towards Menma as Menma smirked as the fire strike him but she was surprised as she saw his control over the elements were great as the fire was dancing around his body but not affecting him your fire is too weak I am easy to handle weak power like yours if it was a bit stronger it would probably overshadow my system and yeah it would have burned me but you're too weak Menma said a tip mark came on her forehead what did you just say as she picked up back her sword she dashed forward as she sent chakra to her sword as her sword blazed into fire hmm a compressed metal that enhanced the fire it's a lot like my body said minma as his body engulfed in fire he then smashed into her sword as it was a boom when the smoke cleared minma and her were distance away as he pointed his two finger towards her dodge he said as he started to fire out lightning bullets as she had to jump out of the way as she was jumping around as Menma was chuckling to himself he then stomped his feet on the ground as the ground then shake as a piece of the earth break up hitting her leg knocking her off balance as he strike the lightning right in her hand she winced out in pain but before she could fully recuperate he appeared in front of her and delivered a sick kick to her face that sent her flying as he smashed into the wall as Mito and Narumi were surprised. Menma was really that powerful, they said. Yeah, he is, said Naruto. As they narrowed their eyes at Naruto. Was he the one that you were training with? That is how you got so powerful? Mito asked. Kind of, Naruto said. What do you mean kind of, asked Narumi. Well, I trained by myself mostly. But yeah, he was a big help as well. As they turned back to the fight. As they heard a primal scream. As Karu digged herself out of the wall, blood was coming from her forehead and her lip. You think that's enough to defeat me? She said. As she was already panting a bit as she walked over. Menma looked at her and smiled. No, I don't, he said. As he then took in a deep mouthful. She thought that he was about to breathe out air. But he breathed out a stream of water that struck her. As she tried to pull herself out of the water. But it was so powerful it pushed her straight to the wall. She then saw five poof. As Menma created five clones. Three of the clones had lightning danced around their hand. As the other two inhale. As they breathe water on the floor. She jumped up on the side. As she activated chakra on her feet and stick to the wall. As she then had to run as they started to strike the wall with lightning. As she had no more place to go she flipped on over. As Menma smirked as he lowered his hand on the water as lightning started to cackle in it. As the clones vanished behind him. She then smirked back as she had something to do with this. She went through hand sign. Fire style. Fire prison she said. As she released a dome of fire. As she used the impact of that to push herself forward towards Menma. As she clenched her fist. As she was trying to punch him. But Menma quickly grabbed her wrist. Playtime is over, he said. As he squeezed her wrist, as she cried out in pain. He then jumped. As he delivered a roundhouse kick to her face. But he didn't release her hand. As he flipped her over his shoulder and sent her into the wall. He then made the earth at her feet came up. And completely encased her feet. And it started to rise and rise and rise and rise. Until it was at her lower midsection and it was rising up even more. Minma walked up to her. She tried to go through hand sign, but the earth behind her, the wall, created cuffs that cuffed her to the wall. As she tried to move, but her body was so tired and weak, she couldn't break through these binds. As he then appeared in front of her and put his two finger on her forehead, I can kill you right now. I'm gonna count to five, and if you don't give up, I'm gonna release a lightning bolt. That will tear through your forehead. One, two, three, four. I give, she said. Enough, the proctor says, he appeared. As Menma was named the winner, as Karu was brought to the medic, as Menma walked up the stairs, as he walked by Yujito and Amoy, as he gave him a smug smile, as Yujito clenched her fist, 
it seems like he was stronger than they thought, as Karu really underestimated him. She could also tell that that one over there, Naruto was it, was far stronger, but he was holding back. And the Raikage sent them here, for them to defeat Konoha's strongest ninja and show the daimyos that Kumo is the strongest village, so that they can get more funding and more missions, seeing that most of the mission are heading to Konoha and the Raikage couldn't afford that, seeing that he was getting less on funds. The same thing was happening to the Sand Village. But the Sand Village made a deal with the devil, which is Orochimaru, for him to destroy Konoha so they could get more missions from the Wind Daimyo. Naruto walked past Mito as he walked past Narumi. Where you going they asked, but he didn't answer them, as the both of them looked at each other. Sometime he can be so... Hard, said Mito. Yeah, I know, said Narumi, but I guess we'll just have to keep on trying, as the both of them nodded to each other. Kushina was behind them, as she hasn't said a word since the whole ordeal a while ago. Hey mom, you okay? asked Narumi. Oh, I'm fine, said Kushina, as she gave them a smile. Well, you don't look okay, said Mito. I told you I'm fine, Kushina said. Alright mom, said Mito. As the board went through names again, this time it was Shigamaru vs Kin, the girl from the sound team, but she was easily defeated after she got captured in a shadow possession jutsu. The next match was Dosu vs Choji, which Dosu won. The next match was Zaku vs Shino, which Shino won. The next match was Rock Lee vs Gara. This was a really entertaining match for Naruto to watch. As he saw how monstrous and dark Gara was, he seen that Shikaku has really corrupted him as that brought a smile to Naruto's face and that freaked out Mito and Narumi seeing that their brother was enjoying this. In the end, Gara tried to crush Lee's feet but Guy came in the ring and hit all the sand away. The next match after that was Ino vs Amoy and that wasn't even a match. As they got intel about the Yamanaka clans and all that, and he knew that they could control your mind. As they heard about the clans in Konoha, the Uchiha's the Yamanaka, where the Uchiha's only have one member left, the Hayuga, and that girl was from the Yamanaka as he heard her full name, so he couldn't allow her to get in his mind, so he ended the match rather quickly. The next match was the shortest ever in the history of preliminaries. It was Yujito vs Sakura. The match started with Sakura pulling three kunais. But in a flash, Yujito vanished and appeared behind Sakura and knocked her in the back of the neck. Sakura couldn't even react quick enough to counter anything as she collapsed on the ground unconscious. Better off if I had killed her, Naruto thought. The next match after that was Mito versus Temari. As the both of them went down to the ring, as Narumi and Kushina wished her good luck, but Naruto didn't say anything. At the beginning of the match, Mito had to dodge a lot of wind blast from Temari's fan as she couldn't even get close enough so she decided to use a diversion seeing that she also have 5% of the fox inside of her but just a chakra it wasn't anything to overwhelm her or anything and it didn't really show its features so she summoned a bunch of clones as the clones attacked Temari from all angles but Temari opened her fan as she swing around dispelling all of them with a terrible breeze in all of that chaos and everything Mito break from the ground as she delivered a solid uppercut to Temari's chin, knocking her up. She then followed up with a roundhouse kick knocking Temari to the ground as Temari got loose of her fan. And from then the match was over as Mito was easily able to subdue Temari. Given that Mito has been getting training from she was much younger from both Kushina and Minato, she wasn't any ordinary genin, she was strong yes, even though she was nowhere near like Menma are far 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 from Naruto's level. She was not a regular Janine. The next match after that was Tenten vs Narumi. The match started out with Tenten throwing a lot of kunais and shurikens all type of weapons as Narumi had to dodge and run out of the way for a long while. But given without her weapon she was nothing but it seemed like she had an endless supply but it took a long while. But eventually, Narumi got the drop on her 
ends. The match was over from there because in close to close combat she was nothing and she couldn't really use her weapon so close. So the match was over and that was the end of the preliminaries. After that Minato told them about the finals and told them who they will be fighting. The first match would be Mito versus Shikamaru. The second match would be Shino versus Dosu. The third match would be Narume versus Neji. The fourth match would be Menma versus Amoy. The fifth match will be Naruto versus Yujito. And the sixth match will be Gara versus Sasuke. Minato then gave a speech and told them that they had one month. One month to train and prepare themselves and get new moves so they can surprise their opponents. And with that, it was the end of the preliminaries. As Naruto saw Menma as Liz, Liz was there. Seeing her brought a smile to his face. As Liz waved at Naruto, as Naruto waved back, as she is basically like a sister to him. As Naruto walked over there, as Liz asked him if he passed, as he told her yes, she hugged him and told him congratulations, as she just finished congratulating her brother. As she knew he would make it to the finals. You're gonna do great, Naruto, she said. Huh, as he gave her a smile. Thanks for the vote of confidence, he said. Well, you are a family, she said that smile. Yes, we are, said Naruto. Naruto said a voice. As Naruto turned around to see Kushina behind him. Yeah, he asked. I want to talk about your recent behavior, she said. My recent behavior? Yes. Yes, your father also wants to talk to you. Tonight, we're going to have a family meeting. Okay? Yeah, sure, whatever, he said. As he started to walk off. Naruto, she said. That's what I'm talking about. Just blowing me off like that. I'm your mom. Don't speak to me that way. As Menma narrowed his eyes at Naruto, thinking that Naruto would snap and say something. But Naruto looked at her. Sorry about that, he said. But Menma noticed his hand. His hands were in his pocket. As Menma saw blood stain on Naruto's pants. As Naruto was gripping his hands so tight to resist the urge to just let everything loose right here. As she Dear call him her mother after what she made him went through as Naruto hated all of them it doesn't matter how much they try to make everything good and Naruto will show them soon all of their mistake soon he will show everyone in Konoha all of the civilian who put him through crap all of the suffering he also had a burning vengeance inside of him for that Haruna girl well her and her mother her mother mostly, since she tried to befriend him and tricked him. He hates when people betray him. That is why it's so hard for Naruto to like be friends to other people. Menma had gained his trust. It took years for Menma to gain his trust completely. And Naruto see that now. But with other people, like other people, friends, girls and all that, he's not gonna give them his trust so easily. Just say he has a trust thing where it's hard for him to trust people. Okay, said Naruto, I'll be there. As Liz then walked up to Naruto, Hey, what's this, she said, as she saw the stain on his pants. You got hurt. No, I'm fine, said Naruto. No, you got hurt, let me see. As Naruto told her that he was fine, he would take care of it soon. Alright, let's go, said Menma. As the three of them started to walk off, as Mito and Narumi stood there. So, what do you and dad want to talk to him about, asked Mito. Just his recent behavior, we knew that things were going to be difficult but it seems like Naruto really need to know that the people of Konoha are his comrades and his friends and he shouldn't do such thing like that as Kiba is in critical condition. What? said Narumi. Yeah, it seems like after the beating that Naruto gave him, it put him into a dangerous state. The poor boy is fighting for his life. As Mito eyes then went wide, what about his mom? What do you mean? asked Kushina. As her eyes didn't wide as well. As you remember about Tasumi, as that woman is always protective. When it comes to her kid, she's like a lion protecting her cub. As she's gonna be pissed, surely pissed. And she's gonna want blood for what Naruto did. Seeing that Kiba is literally in the hospital fighting for his life, the medics are trying their best. So many 
strike to the skull, it really damaged him. As Naruto lives and Menma was walking, as Naruto was now a distance away from where they kept the preliminaries, he then felt something as he then looked over at Minma as he saw Minma felt it as well. There was a high, rising level of chakra rushing towards them. As Naruto separated himself from the group, Hey, where are you going? asked Liz. As Naruto didn't say anything, but Minma held on to her before she could run. As Naruto went out in the opening, he then had to jump away as Tasumi Inuzaka crashed into the ground with her dog. As she was glaring at Naruto furiously, she got off her dog's back. How dare you, she said. As she stepped forward. How oh dear I what? said Naruto. My son is in critical condition. He might die. I know you. You're him, that boy they talk about. It seems like your childhood was messed up, but you took all of that anger out on my son. You're from Konoha as well. He's your comrade. It doesn't matter which team you're on. You're not supposed to do this to a Konoha ninja. She growled at him. Don't talk about my life, said Naruto, brushing off the rest of her topic like there wasn't any. As she stepped forward, I'm gonna make you wish you never lay a hand on my son. You know you can't touch me, right? said Naruto. You think I care about any of that crap, she said. You think I care if your father's a Hokage? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did to my son. As she rushed forward, as Naruto could see a difference between a Jonin and a normal Jenin, her speed was much faster but nothing he hadn't dealt with before, as she might be a bit faster, but she is not on Zabuza's level. As Naruto dodged a strike, as she was trying to tear his chest plate open with her claws, as her body looked more feral, Naruto then had to spin around and grab the leg that came from mid-ear and toss it towards Tatsumi. As he looked to see another member of the Inuzaka clan, as there was a small drops of blood on her clothes, as she was also glaring at him with pure hate in her eyes. And who are you, Naruto asked. I am his sister, she said. You put my brother in such a condition, make him there fighting for his life? And you also hurt Akamaru so bad. The poor pup is also in critical condition. What kind of monster are you, she screamed at him. As Liz was looking over at Menma, Shouldn't we go call someone or do something? She said. Don't worry, Naruto's got this. I'm gonna give both of you a chance to run away, said Naruto, before I get truly angry. And then things are gonna change. As Tasumi clenched her knuckles, you think that just because you're a strong Jenin, that you're strong enough to take us on? I'm gonna rip you to shreds, boy, she said. I'm gonna make sure that they send you to the hospital and... You're going to be in critical damage as well. Payback for what you did to my son. You monster. That word echoed in Naruto's head. Hearing monster over and over in his mind. As he didn't like that word. He knew that he was dark inside. But to call him a monster. The reason why he hated that word. Is because. For a long long time ago. Flashback. A six year old Naruto was walking on the road. As he saw a little girl crying, he saw that her ice cream had fell over. Seeing that, Naruto had a kind heart back then. He walked up to her. Hey, don't cry, he said. Your mom can get you a new one. As he saw her mother near to an ice cream shop. Oh yeah, she's getting you a new one, said Naruto. Hey, get the hell away from her, the woman screamed. As she rushed over and stepped in front of her kid. Don't talk to my kid, you monster. I didn't do anything wrong, said Naruto. Yeah, leave me alone, the kid said. You're a monster. Hearing that, tears came to his eyes as he ran off. Back to the real world. Naruto looked up at them. Five, four, three. He started to count down. Two, one. This just made Tasumi and Hana even more irritated as they wanted this little boy to pay. God damn. Damn consequences, they didn't care if he was a Hokage son or not. As Naruto smiled evilly, there's no more chance of escaping, he said. But guys, be end episode right here. If you want to make part of this or know what to do, like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn that bell notification to stay posted. Remember to choose all of your friends on social media platform and also stay in tune for the rest of these series coming your way today, guys. And I hope you guys enjoy each and every one of them. 
And remember, if you're new, to go ahead and click that red subscribe button and become a part of the animating family. And thank you for all of your help and support, guys. And yeah, without further ado, I'm out for now. Peace.